Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is our first day of the Novena to the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us all stand to begin our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You are all beautiful, Mary, and the original stain is not in you. You are the glory of Jerusalem. You are the joy of Israel. You give honor to our people. You are the advocate of sinners. O Mary, Virgin most prudent, Mother most merciful, pray for us, intercede for us with the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, Grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us all kneel for the Novena prayer. All together, O, o most pure, pure Virgin, Virgin Mary, conceived, conceived without sin, from the, the very first instant, instant you were entirely immaculate. O glorious Mary, full of, full of grace, you are the mother of my God, the Queen of angels and of men. I humbly venerate you as the chosen mother of my Savior, Jesus Christ. The Prince of Peace and the Lord of Lords chose you for the singular grace and honor of being his beloved mother. By the power of his cross, he preserved you from all sin. Therefore, by his power and love, I have hope and bold confidence in your prayers for my holiness and salvation. I pray that your prayers will bring me to imitate your holiness and submission to Jesus and the divine will. Queen of heaven, I beg you to beg my Savior to grant me these requests. In silence, let us mention our intentions. My Holy Mother, I know that you were obedient to the will of God. In making this petition, I know that God's will is more perfect than mine. So grant that I may receive God's grace with humility as you did. As my final request, I ask that you pray for me to increase in faith in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in hope in our risen Lord. I ask that you pray for me to increase in love for the risen Jesus. Amen. Prayer for the day. O Mary Immaculate, I humbly ask you to intercede for the gift that will strengthen my faith every day and for the light of God upon those who have fallen into sin like me. Preserve in me the kingdom of God and help me not to fall into sin and grant that my family and the whole society may always keep a strong faith in your most holy Son. Grant that through your intercession Holy Mother Church may have greater strength and life amidst the many tempests and dangers of modern times. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray the litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. 
Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Holy Mother of God. Pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins. Pray for us. Mother of Christ. Pray for us. Mother of the Church. Pray for us. Mother of Mercy. Pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace. Pray for us. Mother of Hope. Pray for us. Mother most pure. Pray for us. Mother most chaste. Pray for us. Mother inviolate. Pray for us. Mother undefiled. Pray for us. Mother most amiable. Pray for us. Mother most admirable. Pray for us. Mother of good counsel. Pray for us. Mother of our Creator. Pray for us. Mother of our Savior. Pray for us. Virgin most prudent. Pray for us. Virgin most venerable. Pray for us. Virgin most renowned. Pray for us. Virgin most powerful. Pray for us. Virgin most merciful. Pray for us. Virgin most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of justice. Pray for us. Seat of wisdom. Pray for us. Cause of our joy. Pray for us. Spiritual vessel. Pray for us. Vessel of honor. Pray for us. Singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us. Mystical rose. Pray for for us tower of david pray for us tower of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick Pray for us. Refuge of sinners. Pray for us. Solace of migrants. Pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted. Pray for us. Help of Christians. Pray for us. Queen of angels. Pray for us. Queen of patriarchs. Pray for us. Queen of prophets. Pray for us. Queen of apostles. Pray for us. Queen of martyrs. Pray for us. Queen of confessors. Pray for us. Queen of virgins. Pray for us. Queen of all saints. Pray for us. Queen conceived without original sin. Pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven. Pray for us. Queen of the most holy rosary. Pray for us. Queen of families. Pray for us. Queen of peace. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. The Memorare. Remember, o, o most, most gracious, gracious Virgin Mary, Mary that, that never was it known that, that anyone who fled to your protection, protection implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Pope Francis's Prayer to Mary Immaculate Virgin most holy and immaculate, to you the honor of our people and our loving protector do we turn with loving trust. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you there is no sin. Awaken in all of us a renewed desire for holiness. May the splendor of truth shine forth in our words. The song of charity resound in our works. Purity and chastity abide in our hearts and bodies. And the full beauty of the gospel be evident in our lives. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you, the Word of God became flesh. Help us always to heed the Lord's voice. May we never be indifferent to the cry of the poor 
or untouched by the sufferings of the sick and those in need. May we be sensitive to the loneliness of the elderly and the vulnerability of children and always love and cherish the life of every human being. You are all beautiful, O Mary. In you is the fullness of joy born of life with God. Help us never to forget the meaning of our earthly journey. May the kindly light of faith illumine our days, the comforting power of hope direct our steps, the contagious warmth of love stir our hearts, and may our gaze be fixed on God in whom true joy is found. You are all beautiful, O Mary. Hear our prayer. Graciously hear our plea. May the beauty of God's merciful love in Jesus abide in our hearts. And may this divine beauty save us, our city, and the entire world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We will now prepare ourselves for the Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare ourselves this season of Advent, we are called by Jesus to know Him and trust Him as He reveals to us the face of the Father's love and mercy. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord, for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials grant us your compassionate help, that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide. But he shall judge the poor with justice and decide a right for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless 
with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked justice shall be the band around his waist and faithfulness a belt upon his hips then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid the calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them the cow and the bear shall be neighbors together their young shall rest the lion shall eat hay like the ox the baby shall play by the cobra's den and the child lay his hand on the other's lair there shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the lord as water covers the sea on that day the root of jesse set up as a signal for the nations the gentiles shall seek out for his dwelling shall be glorious the word of the lord thanks be to god justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever O god with your judgment and thou the king and with your justice the king's son he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more may he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever he shall rescue the poor when he cries out and the afflicted when he has no one to help him he shall have pity for the lowly and the poor the lives of the poor he shall save justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever may his name be blessed forever as long as the sun his name shall remain in him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed all the nations shall proclaim his happiness justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever please all stand Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things, from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them 
to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and to anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Turning to the disciples in private, He said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the important actions of Jesus is to reveal to us the face of the Father. Ipakilala sa atin sino ang Ama, sino ang Diyos. And Jesus today in our Gospel passage reveals to us the will of the Father. He said, Such has been your gracious will that you revealed these things not to the wise and the learned, but to the childlike. Sabi ni Jesus, ang kalooban ng Ama ay ang maipakilala siya, hindi sa mga may alam na at sa mga nagmamarunong na kundi sa mga katulad ng bata na mababang loob. This, my dear brothers and sisters, teaches us that the people of faith are not those who know much. The people of faith are those who trust much. Yan, ang ipinakilala sa atin ni Jesus. Ang taong may pananampalataya ay hindi yaong maraming alam, kundi yaong mga tao na marami ang tiwala sa Diyos. Kaya nga ipinakilala ni Jesus ang Ama, hindi sa mga pariseyo, sapagkat sila na marami ng alam ay hindi na tinanggap si Jesus. Nakilala si Jesus, hindi ng mga pariseyo at eskriba. Nakilala si Jesus ng mga taong mabababa ang loob. Faith, people of faith, are not those who know much, but those who trust much. Yesterday, I was touched by a text message from a friend of mine. He said, Father, since we will be beginning tomorrow, this day, the Novena to the Immaculate Conception, he said to me, Can you send me your intentions and I will pray for them? Nagulat ako. Kasi madalas, kayo po ang nagpapadasal sa aming mga pari. Knowing that we are people of faith. But this person trusted so much in God that he was able to say, I can also pray for priests. I can also pray for the religious sisters. People of faith are not those who know much, but those who trust much. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, we also see this picture of people of faith who trust in God. According to our first reading, when the Messiah, the shoot that shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, 
when he is revealed, the Gentiles shall seek him out. It means that the people who trust in the Messiah are those who allow themselves to be led by the Savior, to be led by the Messiah. You will only allow yourself to be led by someone if you trust that person. People who have faith in Jesus are not those who know much about Jesus. People who have faith in Jesus trust in Him and allow themselves to be led by Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us express our faith in Him, not just by knowing much about Him, but by trusting Him and allowing ourselves to be led by Him. Amen. Please stand. The Father reveals the mysteries of the kingdom to the little ones. Let us pray to our God who shows such love for the small and weak. We bring all our needs before our Heavenly Father, confident of His loving care. For every petition, let us say, Father of the poor, hear us. Father of the poor, hear us. That those who serve the church as bishops, priests, and ministers may proclaim God's kindness and love, especially to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of the, the poor, poor hear, hear us. That civil leaders may give attention to the needs of the humblest citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, hear us. That children may get to know God by our teachings and examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, hear us. That the sick may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, hear us. That those who have died may enjoy the everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father of the poor, hear us. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may always respond to His guidance and strengthen us to be instruments of His peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design You formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when He comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel as we pray the prayer of entrustment to the Immaculate Conception. O most, most blessed, blessed Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary, you who were preserved from the stain of original sin, most loving and powerful patron of the Philippines, to you also be endless praise, everlasting veneration, and thanksgiving in Christ Jesus. O Immaculate Mother, our most kind Mother, our most sweet and most exalted Queen, with grateful hearts, we praise your mercies and fly to your protection. O Blessed Lady, you who captivate with your sweetness the hearts of men, you who have captivated our hearts, you have captivated the hearts of your, our people also, you have established, fostered, and strengthened the foundations of the faith, in our beloved land, by your good patronage, as manifested in so many visible proofs of your maternal love. We are yours. We wish to be yours. Show yourself a mother and patron to us. Guard us and protect us through your most powerful intercession. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Please all stand. We have begun today the first day of our Novena to the Immaculate Conception, for those who may want to follow the prayers of the Novena, you may download the, a copy of the prayer of the Novena posted on our social media pages. And also this lunchtime Mass, you will begin the first day of the Novena Masses in honor of the Immaculate Conception as we prepare for, prepare for our great feast this coming December 8th. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Beauty.